On the 4th of April 2021, the Center for Infectious Disease Research in Zambia, or more commonly called CIDAS, celebrated its 20th year. This remarkable achievement is a celebration not only for the organization, but for the entire country. CIDAS is a non-profit organization. Essentially what CIDAS does is provide a platform that allows researchers um, Zambian researchers who can collaborate with others, whether in-country or internationally, to do groundbreaking work on research questions that are relevant for the Zambian community. CIDAS is one of our key partners that have helped the government and the Minister of Health in particular with evidence that has had a profound impact in public health policy formulation. CIDAS has also supported government uh, in the development of guidelines for a variety of program areas, including HIV, TB, um, cervical cancer, voluntary medical uh, male circumcision, uh, prevention of mother to child transmission of HIV, reproductive maternal neonatal, COVID-19, just to mention a few. CIDAS is really committed to a healthy Zambia and, uh, and the way we do that is by feeding information back from the teams and the facilities. So community teams, what are the issues the communities are dealing with? Uh, um, patients, what are the issues they're dealing with? HIV infected, those not HIV infected. Um, specifically looking at key populations. How can we um, support key populations? And by key populations, I mean groups that may not normally have access to care, maybe marginalized populations. So working with those ones to try and um, help them provide access to services as well. Um, I think that's key. And um, CIDAS is able to, to quickly respond to many things and, and, and be able to really um, ask some questions and do some things that the ministry uh, may have to, may, may take longer to do or may not be able to do because they don't have the resources. CIDAS provides quality healthcare and um, expertise that improves other healthcare workers to be able to deliver quality healthcare. And for me, um, you know, that is what drives me to be able to teach others a better way of providing health services for the benefit of the patients, the benefit of the Zambian people, I would say. And so that drew to me because the manner in which they ran their projects, being able to go out and provide a service to people that um, couldn't access uh, health services, um, or certain health services, not all, but certain health services. I would say that's what drew me to CIDAS. 20 years ago, Zambia was a very different place. HIV was ravaging not only our communities, but the country as a whole. Every family was either affected or had someone infected by the HIV pandemic. An urgent call to action was needed to address the situation. At that time, almost 20% of the population were HIV positive. So this was everybody um, from, you know, the president's son uh, down to, um, you know, the sort of uh, basic laborer or farmer or, you know, health worker, ourselves, my own family, everybody was impacted by this awful disease. And so for me, it was a real um, opportunity to do a small part for my country to go back home to Zambia and to do some really important work. How are we going to deal with things like stigma, which was extremely intense at the time. I think there was a lot of fear as well, which was driving stigma. Um, there was a lot of need. People were literally dying. Um, the HIV rates at that time were ranging around 20%, meaning almost one in every five individuals um, had HIV. You could tell that HIV was impacting Zambia uh, very visibly. It was everywhere. Driving through the roads, you would see uh, chairs and tents that were for rent. You saw uh, caskets advertised um, or set up just on the road because the impact of HIV was so severe. UNH estimate that about 94,000 Zambians were getting infected with HIV every year, and over 70,000 were dying from HIV every year. So it was really, really bad. 
and mothers who are infected with HIV, 30% of them will give birth to kids who are infected with HIV. And then those kids, 80% of them will die before they made it to their fifth birthday. So it was not, it was not a great situation at all.